Hello, YouTuber to our chef here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday evening. Uh, it's about half past five. Got a little bit of Mortal Kombat gold that I got off James Kolar's, uh Yeah. Whatever his name was. You know who you are. It's very, very hot. I've had the last two weeks, three weeks, I've been really really stupid busy at work can't say too much it's a bit of a secret on certain stuff um but also i had the london film anime comic something uh, thing wherever it bloody was which i'm sure if you've watched um i've never played this uh if you've watched gas said steve's video um then you might see me walking around in a high vis jacket Is this any good? Because this looks shit already. Anyway, um, so yeah, got a few pickups: eBay, Tesco, uh, trade with YouTubers, and uh, some buys and uh, freebies, should we say, from London comic film animes, wherever it, wherever it was called. Comic Con thing, like whatever. Oh, I am hot. So yeah, today's my first day off in about two weeks, and I spent the day in the garden cutting all the garden down with my father-in-law and my wife's cousin, uh, which was mad. And then I come in, cut me air, had a quick shower, you know, spruce myself up for YouTube, and. Okay, I'm just, just, I've never seen it before, so I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it actually, but it's all, it's all 3D, is it? Alright, yeah, so um, let me, let's start off with the eBay purchase first. Um, along with a lot of people who've picked up the Retron 5, which I think is probably the best. The best? If not the best, it's the best possibly the best console around is the Retron 5. Um, it allows you obviously to play games from different countries, NTSC, NTSCJ, um, NES, you know, Super NES, Game Boy, Mega Drive. Uh, not Master System, uh, which I actually realised. I haven't tested it with Master System, but I don't remember it saying it played Master System. But anyway, and one of my good friends, and one of your good friends, my brother, my brother Daz, Cajonas Deloro, hope you're well mate, um, we spoke a couple of times, I know you've been busy and whatnot, and I know um, you've been doing quite a bit yourself around the old tubes, and I love this game, I've got it um, PAL region, but I've just been so impressed with Japanese artwork and whatnot, um, so I thought, you know what, I saw this, um, I got it for £5 all in basically, it hasn't got a manual, but I will upgrade it. But I thought, you know what, for a fiver I'll take it, it's a Shadow Dancer. And obviously, Daz just got an epic picture of uh, Soul Funk Retro. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to get in touch with you. I don't know if you watch my channel. Um, say it's not complete. I don't know if you watch my channel, I forgot your name there. But anyway, Soul Funk Retro, you know, everyone knows who he is. Um, but obviously I don't know his name, because I'm stupid. I'm going to be talking to you about a couple of pictures, because if that's the quality you're doing... Uh, that's unreal, to be honest with you. But yeah, so yeah, so Shadow Dancer uh, on the Mega Drive. That I say that was five pound all in. So chuff for that one. Uh, the second one was a Tesco purchase, and I haven't got this game. Obviously, that's why I bought it. I got the first one, and I didn't really get on with it too well. Um, I don't know if anyone feels the same. I. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm going to give it another go. So I bought this one for £5 and I put it a little post on um, Facebook on the old Tubby Tuber uh, site. And it's uh, Castlevania 2 Lord of Shadow. So it's all it's sealed. Uh, you can't really see, but it is sealed. You can just see the glare off it. I might buy a couple more. I don't know what you think, guys. Is it worth me buying a few more? Because my Tesco had loads. 
Um, I don't know if it's going to be something worth in a couple of years, I don't know, but I'm going to open this one, but I might buy a few more, but let me know in the comments if you think, oh, maybe I should buy a few more, or, if, or someone else needs one if they can't get it, I'll, you know, send it your way. So that was a fiver. Now the two trades with the tubers, three trades with tubers, well, two trades and one's an IOU that I was owed, uh, which now I have now sent out something else to that tuber, but that's another story. The first one, uh, is Ed, Wiseman Ed, or whatever his bloody name is. <laughs> Fuck. Um, he's, Ed picks up loads of stuff. Um, at least every week he's picking up something new. And I always say to him, if you've got anything like this or that, or you know, we do a trade, we've done a trade. And this game, this game now completes my. Resident Evil on the GameCube because I was missing this and I actually thought I had it but I haven't I've, I haven't got it and I've got it now I've done a trade with Ed and I'm, I'm, I think he's picked up the item now so hopefully he'll show it soon but the game I got off Ed and it's I would say it's one of the hard, harder ones out of the four, out of five to get for the GameCube I, I think so anyway because I don't normally see it I've never seen it out in the bat I've never seen it in a shop before I've only ever seen it when you guys pick it up but it's uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X so that completes now. I say it's um, two discs. That can, you see the way I did that? Just flicked it. Uh, that <laughs> that completes my Resident Evil GameCube collection, which is great. I'm so happy with that. The next one, uh, I've been after this game for so long. I've been beat to getting it so many times, mainly because of um, CX used to tell you where games used to be in certain shops and I remember driving to one shop to get it and I never had it. It was on the shelf, they've already sold it. It was already uh, picked up online and I totally thought you could do that. But yeah, um, I got this off 2 UK, absolute legend 2 e, um, I think uh, 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 the trade, well, I gave him Super Metroid a long time ago and he said to me, if you ever see anything you're after, you know, let me know. And as good as you've heard is, which it is, I said, two, I need this, mate, please sort me out. And he did. Um, I haven't played it yet, so please, Daz, don't shout at me. <laughs> or, or Cyber Snake J. But it's uh, Ikaruga. Now, I've I've wanted this game for so long, uh, and I've finally got it, and it's mint. So, I don't know, Stu, because normally, you, like, like, like everyone, you always swap out. Um... If your if your copy is better than this or vice versa, you'll swap them out. And this is mint, so I'm I'm guessing your copy is either mint or um, stew. But thank you very much, Stu, for that. The next trade with a tube, well, the next one from a tube, I'm sorry, uh, was a purchase. Uh, Gasted Steve, um, me and me and Steve. Now we met up a few times. Uh, I've got a lot of time for Steve. He's not too far from me. Uh, he's not too far from where I work. We've met up, say, on, on a car boot, and that, and we get on really well. So. He messaged me and said, I've got a few bits for sale, you interested? And I said, yes, mate, not a problem, I'm interested in it. If I can help buy a few bits off you, I can help, not a problem. Uh, and what he did is he gave me some extra stuff. So I'm just going to quickly pull out the stuff I bought off him. Um, give me two seconds. So I'm going to show you the, the bruises he gave me, which um, I've got most of these, but I'm not going to say no to a brucey. Uh, it is, one of them is a promo not for resale Blitz for League 2 on the PS3. One is a promo for the Wheelman, which I, I haven't actually got, so I'm not looking forward to playing that. Uh, Tasmania on the Mega Drive, which I've, I'm pretty sure I've got that. Uh, General Chaos on the Mega Drive, which I, I don't think I have got actually. So I can hear all, can hear all these noises outside. I'm getting scared. Um, cool Spot again. I'm pretty sure I've got that. Sonic and Knuckles. I've definitely got uh, a Super Nintendo game Championship Pool, which I I, I haven't got. And the games that I wanted off Steve, the ones I wanted to buy off Steve, was 
first one, uh, I've not, I don't normally see this around, so I thought, you know what, Steve, I'll have it off you. So the first one is, is complete. It's Garfield Court and Yet. The next one, uh, I've got the other edition of this one, which was, it's a more rarer one, I can't think what it's called. I think it's the, the I haven't got it here. But it's another version of, of this game, and it's a bit more rare than this one. But this is the, the bog standard one, if you will. But I haven't actually got it. So it's uh, Sensible Soccer, and that's complete as well. Um, next one's War Some Piers Free. It says promo only, not for resale. But I wanted them because they look pretty cool. I've never had any of these before. Uh, and I haven't actually got cut some of these, so if they're any good, I might buy them. First one was Lost Planet 2. Second one is Street Fighter vs Tekken. These like in a little thin CD case with like a a manual, well, like a front inlay. Uh, Super Street Fighter 4, I believe that is. And Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, which I have got. And I actually like this, but I know it gets a lot of shit. Those ones, I asked for them. I then asked for these two games because on closer inspection of my two mine two are really really scratched they're my original ones I got when I first got them originally back in the day and these are mine are really scratched but these are actually in really good condition so I'll just swap out what I want and then sell on or trade on with, with one of you guys or something else uh, the first one is a Resident Evil 2 because say my copy of my discs is absolutely just scratched to hell I don't know what I was doing, I don't know if I was trying to grind them on my teeth, but they're just dead. Next one, uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut, with Resident Evil 2 promo disc as well, so again, my one was absolutely battered. The last two games, um, I'm pretty sure I've got this now, I said I didn't, but I think I have got it, but I'm not fussed, I'm really not fussed because it's a great game and I can easily uh, trade it on. The first one is uh, Double Dragon. On a NES, and the last game I wanted, and I wanted this game for some time, and again, the game gets a lot of shit, but I actually quite like it. Uh, so much so that I end, I'll probably end up buying it box complete because I think it's a really good game, underrated game. Uh, it's Batman the video game on the NES. So, guess it, Steve, you're an absolute legend. Thank you very, very much, mate. Um, you saw me out there, so I'm happy with that, and I'm, as long as you're happy. Now, the last little pickup. Uh, was from the London Film Anime Convention, whatever you want to call it. So, if you don't know, I'm sure I've told you everyone loads of times, but whether they listen or not, I'm actually the head chef of Olympia, uh, in, L in London Olympia, which is uh, one of the oldest and pre prestigious venues in London. Uh, we hold events like the Horse of the Year show, London Film and Comic Con, or anime, whatever it's called, the Ideal Home show, um, so, I'm in charge of the, the venues catering throughout. So whether it's a, you, whether you eat a sandwich, whether you eat a burger, whether you eat a three course sit down, a five course meal, a buffet, I'm in charge of that. With my team of people, we provide we cater for the venue. So obviously, there's a lot of perks for me. I can get people in for free. I can uh, obviously give food to um, the traders and the people in the stalls. If there's anything I want, so I can get a few deals. <laughs> Um, you know, so yeah, there's a lot of things that I that I can do. So I, I did mention to people uh, if they want any tickets for the show, I can get them in. Uh, the only person who really asked me was Gasshead. Um, Rich King Retro uh, was already already had a ticket, but I got him in before everyone else. I got him in nice and early before anyone even saw anything. So if there's anything they wanted to buy, they could get it. I also got LGG uh, into. Uh, the convention, um, another YouTuber, and obviously I've got a few of my my personal friends in who don't do YouTube. So anyway, long story short, uh, if you want any tickets for Olympia, let me know. I'll sort you out for next year's London Film and Comic Anime thing. Or again, that's back in November. But in November, it hasn't got I believe all the traders. It's just all people signing stuff because. Uh, they had Michael J. Fox was there signing stuff, Christopher Lloyd, Sigourney Weaver, uh, load of, loads of the Power Rangers, Robert England, uh, lots of people from Back to the Future, people from Star Trek, loads of people, loads of loads of people. 
Uh, I believe Jamie Foxx actually turned up as well to the, sh to the convention as a guest. And I believe um, Ian McKellen, Sir Ian McKellen was there as well. So it was quite a big show actually compared to the XL one where I used to do the MCM. This is, I actually think this was a lot better personally. Um, I just think they had a lot more atmosphere, there were some good stalls there, uh, console passion was there but they, they didn't have much stuff there or when I got down there wasn't much stuff left. But I managed to meet uh, and become quite friends, quite friendly whether you want to say with a company called Plushy Retro. Um, is it Plushy Retro? What was it called? Let me see, give me a second. I did stick one of their stickers, I did leave one of their stickers in one of their boxes. I don't know if I still... No, I'll still find it now. But anyway, uh, Retro Plushy Games, I think they were called. And one of the blokes there called uh, Daniel Smith, uh, he's on GGG, which is another one of those Face Bay website uh, links things. And um, so, walking around nice and early, as I did, to get, I got walking around about 7, 8 in the morning <laughs> to see what I wanted to buy. Bought some stuff for the kids, some Big Hero 6 stuff, which they loved. Bought my wife a Big Hero 6 as well, um, Baymax, the, the, the large uh, pop doll, and a few other little bits for my missus. Uh, so yeah, a few, I saw a few things for myself I was quite happy about. Um, so I'll show you what I got basically. The first two things was a gift from LGG, because for, for getting him into the show basically, uh, he said yep, you know, any games you want, I'll sort you out. So, yeah, two games I actually wanted and I needed. So I took him off him. So thanks again, uh, Jason. First one is Mega Man 18, which I haven't got. So I was happy about that. Complete. Second one is uh, Digimon World 4. Complete on the PS2. So thanks, Jason, for that. A little something, you know. I got him in. He gave me a couple of games. Why not? <coughs> so... Retro plushy games, toys, what the bloody called, and I thought the name. Went on a stand, they had some great games, they had some really good, really good games. So I basically, I sorted them out meals for the whole weekend, drinks, food, blah, 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 and they gave me basically half price, or even, to be honest, more than half price discount on everything, or anything I bought, it was more than half price off, basically. Um, so, I got these two games first, well no sorry, I've got these two games first, uh, one I needed because my copy isn't in the best condition and I wouldn't want to, well one I wouldn't want to sell it to any of you guys because it's not very good, um, and secondly it was there, I saw it, I thought I'd take it, <clears throat> uh, it's complete boxed, mint condition, say so, yeah, I saw it there, I thought I'd take it, it's Resident Evil 2 on the GameCube. Now I've had this a few times before and I've let it go, um, but my copy, my disc is really bad. Again it does play, it's got a small little crack on the um, on the spine, on the little spindle bit, and I know eventually that's going to go, so I'm just going to put it on eBay, get rid of it, before, I don't really want to say, I don't want to sell it to any of you guys. So yep, yeah, so Resident Evil 2, I ended up getting that for £15 basically, so I was happy with that. The next one, I wanted this game for so long. So, 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 so long. Um, a lot of you picked it up. Daz has picked it up, but I think he ended up gifting it to someone else. I think he gifted it to... Was it Retro Dave or someone? I can't remember. Anyway, um, and I've wanted it for so long, and I've never seen it out of the bat. And again, they had it there. Uh, I got it for half price. I got it for £15 again. It's uh, Star Fox Assault on the GameCube. Box complete. So I was chuffed as houses with that. Absolutely chuffed. Uh, the next two... Um, again, I did have these, but my copies are not as good as these, really not as good as these. And at the minute, where I saw them there, and these two games are really getting expensive on eBay, they're really starting to go up. So I saw them there, I got to feel them, touch them, I think that's prime when you're buying, when you're spending X amount of money on games, you really want to see them and touch them and whatnot. So again, <clears throat> I got these, I think they were like £20 for the pair, or 20 for the 25 Whatever it was, it was cheap. Uh, it's a bit of a Resident Evil hit, this 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 uh, video, to be honest with you. The first one was Resident Evil 2 <laughs> on the Dreamcast. I want to know what you guys think. What is the best 
um, what's the word? Resident Evil 2, what's, what's the best console it's on? Is it, uh, would you say it's the Dreamcast? Would you say it's the GameCube? PS2? The N64? The, uh, the PC? Let, let, me, let me know because I'm going to play all these again now, but I'm not too sure if to play on the PlayStation or play on the Dreamcast. Because if you play on the PlayStation, you play on the PS3, it's HD, give or take. Um, so yeah, Resident Evil 2. <clears throat> I saw something else, 10 or 15 pounds, I think. But I think it was 20, 25 to pay, I can't remember now. Second one, Resident Evil 3. Again, I saw it, I got to, you know, it's, these are in like mint condition, really. They really, really are. So I bought all those games. <clears throat> and Rob, because the three boys, the, the three uh, blokes who own it, who own the company, Rob, Dan, and um, Ash, um, so they were happy with me giving them food and everything else, drinks and stuff, so they sought me out. And they gave me this game for free. I, I don't really know much about it, if I'm honest. Um, maybe someone can help me out. Um, it's box complete. It's it's really, really good condition. Is it a two-disc game? It is a two-disc game. Um, never heard of it before, I'm not going to lie. It's called Sister Princess 2. So I'm sure someone knows what it is. But they gave that to me for free. Uh, I wasn't going to say no, you know. It was a little gift for them, so thanks for that. <clears throat> now, this is the last, the last, oh, this is the last thing I'm going to show. This is the last thing I've got. It's got a, a message from Kevin Woodford. Kevin123 Woodford, who actually came to the show, but actually said he didn't feel very well when we went home, so he's just messaged me back. I hope, I hope you're right, uh, Kev, if you're watching. So I'll, I'll probably give you a message in a minute, mate. Um, yeah, so bought them games off them, left them on the last day on the Sunday, so yesterday. <clears throat> there was one game I really wanted. Dad's on the stand. Um, I've wanted it for some time, but I just haven't thought I'm not going to pay the hundred pound or the hundred and twenty quid or whatever, whatever, whatever it is uh, for a copy that. Again, that I can't really see and touch. That's my biggest thing. When you're spending big money, I really would like to touch it and feel it and look at it and you know go over it and da 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 da. So they had a game there. It was they had it for 120 pounds on the Friday. Then they put it down to 100 pounds on the Sunday. So we got to talking again with between Dan, Ash, and Rob, and they were like, "Oh look, we're gonna have a long drive home." I think Dan lives in Ipswich, and I think Rob lived in Harwich. And Ash didn't say where he lived, but I presume he lived close to them. I said, look, <clears throat> I said, I'm after one game, what about if I sort you out a care package to take home, you know, a load of sandwiches, food, to take home with you, whatever you want to do, da, 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 da. and obviously I was giving them food for the whole event and drinks. They said, yeah, what game do you want? <clears throat> so I said I wanted this, which was Fire Emblem uh, Path of Radiance. Tootie, with a manual. <laughs> so fucking hell. Um, so I said, I really want that game. What's the best price you can do? Uh, it was say hundred pound on the Sunday, and he said, right, we'll do it for sixty quid, which is a which is a, a which is a great deal. Sixty pound is a great deal for something that's complete, and it is mint. Um, I didn't want to pay that. <laughs> so I said, uh, what about fifty quid? What about £50? Pound? I, had a, I had a 50 in my pocket. A pink, brand new, pink elephant in my pocket. So what about £50, pound, Dan? And he was like, okay, no worries, yeah, cool. Seen as I sorted them out, which I did, and obviously they sorted me out, so I managed to get Fire Emblem Path of Radiance for 50 quid. I, am, I was like so chuffed, so happy with it. It's, it's complete, it's all in there. Um, I'm looking forward to playing that. Uh, so yeah, absolute legend. Thank you very, very much to Ash, Rob, and Dan. Um, I don't think they've got YouTube channels. I don't think they have anyway. But um, if they have, I'll be bigging them up and you know whatnot. But yeah. <clears throat> so that was my pickups. I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to do my car boot, my two weeks worth of car boots. Nice cup of tea. 
So guys, thanks for watching. Again, thanks to everyone who traded with me and everything else. I hope everyone's good because I, you know, I have been busy, so I haven't had a chance to watch as many films as I wanted to, uh, films, uh, videos as much as I wanted to. But I'm going to watch them. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all again soon. Bye bye.